back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your May 2020 read. Let's dive in, darling dears. Let's dive in. Cast runes, you read them from right to left. You have Feo, the world card on its face, the letters F and O for F out of here, I don't know. Represented by the numbers 84, 85, 86, and 87. Your first rune is, is Thursas. This is devil Capricorn energy, darling dear, in the upright. It speaks about obsessive jealousy or someone being obsessed. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about what? Um addictions. Passive, a lot of passive, aggressive, controlling behavior around you at this moment in time. It's also telling us, darling dears, somebody has um, a hedonistic vibe. It also speaks about the abuse of alcohol or drugs. Somebody's overdoing it, as well as being what tempted in all situations. It also speaks about a lot of cruelty, being bandied around. Good God, what's going on here? It looks like the flag is at half mast. It also speaks about what? Somebody who is what? Double minded. James 1 8. Mm -hmm. Thursas, excuse moi, s'il vous plaît, is represented by the number 60, 61, 62, and 63. And the letter X. And it also speaks about attack as well as suffering. Somebody's been sitting down and meditating on a situation that is not furthering their goals. Good golly and gosh. It also speaks about a lack of finance in a situation as well as a displacement. Somebody's moving away from a situation, feeling as though they've been caught up in some kind of karma during the month of May 2022. It also speaks about displacement, possibly even homelessness. Good God, someone's up at crisis point. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about someone seeing a situation as a missed opportunity, a situation they are obsessed with and jealous over. It speaks about someone bucking up on a cheating partner or realizing a cheating partner who has no guilt or no shame. This also speaks about bad health. Bad health brought on from the overindulgence of the alcohol and the drugs, darling dear. And someone is what? By bathing in their, their um, stupidity. The world card on its face, darling dear, speaks about what? A lack of knowledge in a situation. Some kind of foolish action was perpetrated, but that action is about to come to its what? Unfortunate end during the month of May 2022. And someone is jealous, jealous and obsessed with you. You are them. Mm -hmm. Gosh. True. If I had a collar, I'd loosen it. <laughs> gonna go with the true love oracle for the overall message what's going on the ancestral message what's the message behind what's going on one card please we've got kaizen blue playing in the background the birds are singing up a treat outside yeah serendipity a series of fortunate events maybe Situations and circumstances are going to line up. The boat also speaks about coming to a clearer space in your mind. Mm -hmm. The stag also represents what a new season, a season of what maturity, maturing in a situation, getting some kind of what intel coming your way. A series of fortunate events for you. My big cat cancer, cancer wave, cancer wave. I meant to say big cat wave, but cancer wave. Yes, be a bit abundance. Abundance comes in many forms, darling dear. And if it's knowledge, you're going to get it. It's going to be in a situation where there was a lot of obstacles. This also speaks about being divinely guided to free yourself. Harvesting on the energies that we are, you are what? Bouncing around in cancer. Mm -hmm. You heard the bell conf confirmation. Right. Let's get a deck and let's go. Oh, I forgot to reach it. Yes. Base of the deck. Manifestation mode. This also speaks about travel, moving quickly, using all of your tools, what you have at your disposal. This is our Mercury as well as air energy. What's the spiritual focus for cancer? Wow, it's not ramping, darling dears. Listen, you're being given the green light to push on, Scotty. 
right? Do a full-on tinky-winky, wheel of fortune. This is fate and destiny to take a leap of faith, take a risk on whatever you've come, whatever conclusion you've come to, darling dear, in your cranium. Divine wants you to take a leap of faith. Your spiritual focus is to take a gamble on yourself. This also speaks about a young partner. There was an age difference in a situation that you're moving away from. Mm-hmm. Stepping into your purpose. The Six of Swords, again, is about moving on. It's definitely moving on throughout the month of May 2022. Moving on from a situation that possibly you or them took a gamble on. It also speaks about a parent and a child. Some this could be this could this be an ending of a, a long term situation, something that was destiny destined and guided to move on from. Either you or them, darling dear. Someone is being displaced, negative energy. Somebody's releasing a negative energy in the month of May. Once and for all. Yeah, moon and energy, cancer and Pisces energy. A situation that had a lot of secrets. A lot of disillusionment. He also speaks about bad energy. You're leading, leaving behind a bad news bag. Either you or them. During the month of May. 2022. What's this? Three major arcana. Divine stepped in on your behalf, darling dears. A lot of hidden secrets. You're also going to be getting the information about some kind of an affair. As well as a false friend. What else? Move fast. <laughs> don't hitch. Don't ramp. Don't wait for that dirty sock to come out of the washing machine. Keep it moving, Scotty. Pump it up one more time. You're being intuitively guided to move. Take your loyalty on the road, darling dear. Mm -hmm. This also, the Queen of Cups is a wife. Someone is taking a gamble on themselves and they're leaving a situation. Being divinely guided to leave a situation. This is a new beginning that you're going towards. Ba you are them. Base of the deck and a stable foundation. What's the worldly focus for cancer throughout May 2022? Being guided to give it one more shuffle. Okay. Being guided to give it one more shuffle, eh? What is the worldly focus? Is it job? Is it relationship? Is it your, your education, your school, promotions? What is the worldly focus for cancer for May 2022? Leaving behind a tree sloth, darling dear. Someone who had their pananio futum in the air, like a gang sign. Mm -hmm. This is the Jezebel spirit, darling dear. Ikubai or succubai, also a spellcaster. This person is extremely jealous and they are going to be what? Gossiping and creating slander at your back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're seeing a, a new perspective on a situation that you were stagnant and stuck in, right? This was fake love straight up to your face. The queen of wands on its face is someone or someone who loves the attention of others but uses their sexuality, darling dear. This is a situation that you or them went into with no knowledge, not enough knowledge. There's no love in this situation. And you were stagnant. A lot of delays. You feel as though your, your exit from a situation was delayed because you didn't have the right information. Information that is about to be brought to you as you take this leap of faith. Being divinely guided to move on to a situation. There could be progeny involved in this situation. Base of the deck, darling. Dear. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm, can it be any more of a tight fit? Good golly and gosh. The star card on its face. A disingenuous situation where you have no hope. And it also speaks about something to do with your kidney or bladder. Could be a bladder infection from this queen of wands who likes the attention of many. Could be as many as eight. Who knows? Who knows? Good gosh. Major arcana. Divinely guided, darling dear, to leave a situation with a new perspective and full understanding where you was trapped. It also speaks about somebody being released from prison. Whatever stories that was told. Some oh, somebody cried grape. You know what it means. It's falsehoods, darling dear. Somebody's about to be released from prison. Mm -hmm. 
Good gosh. There's a lot going on for you, Cancer. You're in May 2022. What's the monthly lesson for Cancer? No weapon formed against you shall prosper, darling girl. Whomsoever try to one-up you in a situation, this is about you not arguing. This person is extremely passive-aggressive, darling dear. This is about the transferring of negative emotions like anxiety, paranoia. <laughs> yes, all of this and that. This is about you what? Moving forward, darling dear. The Knight of Cups also speaks about this past person that created a lot of anxiety, a lot of... Um, red herrings, confusing information, right? You're going to find out something that's going to require medical assistance, darling dear. This person is up to one night stance, could have been in a situation that involved you. Split the deck. Information that you didn't know before, darling dear. Mm -mm. Night of cups, darling dears. A situation where you was going to offer in a, pro a proposal. Wow. Well, somebody's proposing something to you, darling dear. Listen, if you'd have proposed to this Queen of Wands character, they would have been over the moon, blood. Why? Because it would have been a fresh start, a clean slate for them. But some kind of skullduggery is about to be unmasked, pertaining what? Naked bodies, darling dears. You're, the monthly lesson is to what? Know your opponent. Law 33. Of the 48 laws of power. This is somebody who liked to, what? Always putting their emotions on someone else. Somebody who is emotionally manipulative and, manipulative and codependent. Good God. What's the positive influences? Is there positive influences? Is there positive influences for cancer? Mm, moving away from what? Um, a high sink bouquet. It's judgment because you was betrayed in a love situation for you to move on. And it also speaks about the unrequited love, unsatisfied and ex wanting to be in a situation, a situation that is dead in the water. This is somebody who never really offered to the table, darling dears. Somebody who betrayed you at every turn. Now they love you and want you to stay. Good God. Is this a positive influence? You being their karma, judgment card, unrequited love, darling dear. What else about this cup of love? Somebody's crying over you big time. They want you to reinvest in a situation that is fraught with betrayal and heartbreak. Good God. They want that love from you, darling dear. That fake love. That pretend love. Night of peace on its face. A situation that was is quickly coming on top. But I'm getting the impression it's information you're going to find out by mistake. Possibly the internet could be a mobile phone, email. Yeah, you're going to hide that, find out they were giving their cup out, mate. And it also again speaks about a pregnancy. Mm -hmm. What's the negative influences? Mm -hmm. You've got no more emotion to offer a situation. Somebody's going to try and guilt you into staying into a situation. But this is my moving on card. Justice, injustice in a situation. You're putting the past behind you. And whomsoever this high priestess is on its face. This person is going to try and seek some kind of divination on you, darling dear. To see if they can turn this situation, which is an injustice to them. You leaving. They want to turn it around, darling dear. It could be you or them. Thinking about what? The lies, the secrets that cause a high priestess or somebody who is highly intuitive to move on from you. They remember the injustices and they're not taking they're not taking the situation back. Face of the deck, original bad boy of bad girl, bad news bear. Good God. Page of Wands. Mm-hmm. Somebody's drinking and drugging it up, darling. Yeah, this is somebody who couldn't even hold water if they had a gun to their head. This is a, a, um, a scandalous gossip. Somebody who's jealous and lying. This whomsoever you're going to leave behind, they're going to be slandering you from here to, till, I don't know, from here to infinity, darling dears. Mm -hmm. What does the deck want you to know? What does the deck want the cancer, big cat cancer to know for May 2022? Mm -hmm. 
They got the knives for your back, darling. They are a lot of slander, but pay no attention. Somebody doesn't want you to move on from the situation. This is bringing them a lot of mental and spiritual pain. But if this is injustice, this also speaks about a bitter Betty or bitter Benjamin that's going to continue to lie on you. And it also speaks about a mental break. Somebody having some kind of nervous breakdown. Feminine energy. This is somebody over the age of 35, darling dear. Somebody being caught up in their own karma. High Commander Decepticon. King of Cups on its face. This is a narcissist. This is, a, this is somebody who is emotionally manipulative. This also speaks about a union, darling dear, that is fake and fugazi, where there's a lot of fighting, a lot of, a lot of verbal abuse. Somebody has moved on emotionally from that situation. Who was loyal in the situation has moved on from a high commander Decepticon? And a what? A, a clout chaser. Mm-hmm. It also speaks about sibling energy. There's a lot of negative sibling energy. You was advised about a loyal, somebody who was loyal to you. They gave you bad advice based off of their own understandings and ended a situation that's brought you long-term heartbreak. You are them. Final outcome. Thank you. The Empress. Something. What? Someone who is abundant. This is a mother figure. This is about you celebrating. This is parties, invitations. This is a new beginning. Somebody who, who you see as the Empress or sees you as the Empress, they see you having a new beginning, a new lease on life, and they would love to come and offer up, but this person is a liar. This is a this is an apology from a page, a brock pocket page, right, that comes with the helping hands of the devil to take you straight to hell in the hand basket. Mm -hmm. You better nip that shit in the bud. Don't pay no attention to any information. This is how they see you now. Four of Cups. This person feels disappointed and disillusioned. They don't want to be left behind. But any words that you hear from them, darling dear, is not going to be the truth. And it will affect your mental health and your happiness going forward. This is a new beginning for you, darling dear one, you're spiritually guided to take in the month of May 2022 in order to find your abundance. And look what's underneath that, the rainbow retriever, the lying liar, silver tongue devil. You better watch, strap on your flip flops, your common sense, your inner peace and your mental well-being is at, is at stake during May 2022. Good God. A lot going on here, Cancer. Right, let's get another deck. My FP555 Oracle Intel deck. If you'd like to purchase it, follow the link in the description box below. We've got Libra Energy, Aquarius and Gemini on its face. This is the air energies, darling dears. Mm -mm, this does not look good, good at all. This is about somebody lacking in power. This is, a, this is a, a mental and emotional manipulator. It's also somebody that would like to give you cognitive dissonance. They're going to what? Try your logic. During the month of May 2022, this is not divinely guided. Somebody working on their own nefarious ways. You better tap into your north node and make the right choices throughout the month of May 2022. Pinkies up because fortune favors the brave. You're gonna be held to hold your told to hold your gang stuff during May. Mm-hmm. Do we get another day? Final intel for cancer. Yeah, here and now. This is you facing a situation, darling dear. A situation that has a lot of injustice where you're unable to speak your truth or the truth was not being spoken to you. You have to what address that situation. The flag is your stability and your foundation, your root chakra. Right? The truth must be told. No flow, darling dear. Find your validation there because you are being guided. Higher power. Based on the deck. This is a blessing for you in disguise. You'll see it eventually, but you have to be prepared to go the distance. Mm -hmm. If you say you're leaving, leave and don't come back. Right? Feminine energy. Because you'll be gifted with a true loyal heart, but you have to go the, dif go the distance. And somebody is now seeing you as you leave a situation that you are no place like home. I told you a lot of manipulation is on the table. 
and you are being gifted with a leg up from the divine. On that note, I dropped me mic. I nearly said mock. Somebody's mocking a situation, trying to take the piss, eh? Mm -hmm. You better wrap yourself around your serendipity, right? Your abundance, and get your tinky winky suit firmly on. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cat, cat. Cat, cat.